What's going on everybody? We're back with another unboxing, yet another unboxing. We've been doing a ton of these on the channel lately, but that's because we've been getting into the 2023 season and at the end of the year, as everybody knows, there's tons of deals to take advantage of. So this is another one of those deals. My name's Troy and this is my unboxing of the Seven Artisans CineLens series. So I have a short film coming up that I wanted to rent lenses for, but unfortunately, L mount is very hard to find lenses for. I ordered two Seven Artisans lenses for the L mount, 12 millimeter, 2.9, and a 35 millimeter, 1.05. And they're both T-stops. The reason I got the 12 millimeter is because the director was looking for a very specific look. And I got the 35 because you just can't go wrong. So in the package, I received the two lenses, plus this very nice carrying case. Everything was on sale at the time because it was Christmas time. And I got this for 50 bucks Canadian. I got these both around the three to $400 mark. So very, very affordable. It came with these two nice carrying cases, which are like brown leather with a really soft inside. And then inside, they didn't actually come like this, but they came with cleaning kits, which is kind of cool. Vision case here. This is the Vision series from Seven Artisans. Has a very nice foam cutout for your lenses. So it comes pre-cut and you can set your lenses in there. But um, I haven't opened these boxes yet, so let's take a look. So first I thought we'd unbox the 12 millimeter. It is the most interesting lens I ordered probably, so let's take a look. It's a little bumped up and stuff, but it did come straight from China, so that's fair. And it's, a, it's quite a nice box. It's very form fit, so everything fits pretty nice, but you're greeted with this nice little foam piece. Just slides right off. Lens stops for focus rings, I'm assuming. And then right in the box, you have the lens. It's very, very solid, very incredibly solid. It's a full metal design and it's got two geared rings, which is super nice. One T-stop ring, aperture ring, and one focus ring. Uh, everything is metal. The whole body is very solid. And the, even the lens cap is metal. Nice wide front element, and this is an 82 millimeter ring. So that's very versatile with all of the filters I have, which is super nice. Put that back on, it was very satisfying. And then back here, unfortunately, it is not a full frame lens, so you do have to use the Super 35 option on the S1H with this lens, which is not really too big of a problem for me, to be completely honest with you. It's not 12 millimeter wide, but it's still very wide, so it kinda, kinda evens out, but here's the 35 mil, 1.05, which is crazy. So they've kept all the body styles the same size, essentially. Whoever's changing the lenses doesn't have to do too much work to get that lens on there. The same packaging for the 35. And there we go, we got the 35. So as you can see, it is a bit longer, not too much longer, but it's just uh, obviously it's a, a longer focal length. So it does obviously have to be longer, but yeah, same, same idea. They've got the uh, aperture ring on gears and the focus ring on gears. There we go. Nice front element as well, also 82 millimeters. Put that back on. And as you can see, there's screw holes for the focus stops. And then here, this one does work on full frame, by the way, so that's pretty nice. Unfortunately, the 12 mil does not, like I mentioned, but yes, very nice unit. Very, very solid, like actual weight to this thing. Definitely doesn't feel cheap. With this box that it came with, it's a nice hard case here. I did notice one thing, the 12 millimeter slot doesn't fit very well. It actually doesn't fit at all. Uh, super weird, so I'm actually going to put it in this slot here, which doesn't fit perfectly. And then this one fits in this slot over here very nicely. So the 12 millimeter does have kind of a problem fitting in here, but I can't really complain for 50 bucks, to be honest with you. And then obviously there's an 85 slot as well. So this has been the unboxing of the Seven Artisans Vision Cine Lenses. I'm very excited to use these. And in the next segment of this video, I will put in some test footage and also some real time footage of me using them. I have a short film coming up in February that I will be filming with these. So hopefully they hold up to the task. Um, I've just been shooting on regular zoom lenses like Sigma 18 to 35, Sigma 50 to 100, and now my 24 to 70. But now I have these to play with in a cinema environment. So. I'm very curious, but they seem to have a very good build quality. And if you're just a freelance videographer that's looking to look a little more professional and you wanna get a better look out of your camera, I think these are definitely worth investing into. If you're okay with the simplicity of the mechanics of how the lens actually works and you have a setup that supports 
using focus rings that have gears and stuff, these could be a very, very promising option. So in the next part of this test, we will definitely go through all of the quirks and stuff that I figure out. And if they're really, really good, then why not, right? So we're out here in my area. This is downtown where I live and we're just gonna film a couple shots with the 35 millimeter just to give it a test. Cause uh, as you can see, it's pretty dark out here and also there's lots of lights. So it'll be kind of a, an interesting comparison to regular lenses. The lights should give us a good idea of what the bokeh looks like and how good the low lights performance is. So let's check it out. Here's a test where I opened the aperture quite wide and then brought it down quite low. As you can see, there is a bit of cat's eye in the bokeh, but that's fixed by just turning the aperture down a little bit. So 1.2 will kind of get rid of that. So it's not really a problem either, honestly. Just shoot a little under wide open. Here I was just uh, filming my girlfriend cooking. We put the 12 millimeter on just for fun. As you can see, I did IBIS off and IBIS on just to see the difference and IBIS on makes a world of a difference. Definitely a huge shout out to this lens because it is still very crisp and the bokeh is very nice, even at 12 millimeter. So here we are. We've got the 35 mil on and I wanted to test it kind of as a portrait lens, see how it works. And it uh, hopefully it looks pretty good. I can't really see, I can only see from the monitor, but final thoughts, I love the lens. It works fantastic. Everything functions extremely well. The focus ring is very smooth as well as the aperture ring. The sharpness is definitely there. Both of these tests that we're doing right now with the lenses are to test the wide open aperture, how sharp they are, if there's any focus breathing, what gets distorted around the edges and that kind of thing. Since these are my first cinema lens purchases for this camera, I don't have a problem that they're a little inexpensive and aren't perfect around the edges, literally. I'm really happy with the build quality, very happy with the image quality. They give the look that I was looking for, which is definitely a little more cinematic. I've wanted to maximize the performance of this camera for a very long time, and I think these lenses are the step in the right direction. If you like the video, please subscribe, comment down below, and share the video, and we will definitely be producing tons more content like this, as well as behind the scenes of what we do. So if you're looking forward to that, check it out on our channel.